Hey, I'm Rita Quinn, and I listen to Free Talk Live, and I want to know when I can take your guys' pictures. <laughs> I'm with the lovely Rita Quinn, Calendar Girl. And Rita, why don't you tell me the theme of your calendar shoot? The theme of my calendar shoot was the Second Amendment. And the reason why I chose that is because I actually used to be afraid of guns, like many women. And after I started learning about, um, you know, the Bill of Rights and our history of, you know, the United States and ty tyranny, you know, that has occurred throughout, um, you know, centuries, um, I came to realize the importance of gun ownership and the right to defend ourselves and really how that is a right. And so I became passionate about that, um, particularly for women to understand the importance of you know, defending themselves and not being afraid of guns. And even though I'm not like some crazy gun toting, um, I don't know, like the Bubba effect is what I think I put on my calendar because they were trying to claim that, you know, CNN and everything was like, oh, there's this crazy Bubba effect from the South and these rednecks are going to come out with their guns and everything. And I was like, hold on, I'm just a regular person and I'm not one of these, you know, stereotypical. Uh, like the way that the the media likes to demonize people who are gun advocates and so that was pretty much the reason why I decided to go with that theme. Now being a professional photographer you always hear people talk that the camera is the new gun. What's mm -hmm. your opinion on that? Actually I think that it's true in fact I just joined a group that is out of London called um, I'm not a photog I'm not a terrorist, I'm a photographer because there is so much controversy around that and people, you know, obviously who are photographers and in the media are getting demonized a lot and people are being, you know, even been killed, um, particularly in the UK, which is part of the reason why that group started up there and I think that that's um, true. I know from for just what I've done and seen police, you know, actually ask me for, um, you know, video footage and seeing, you know, many, many people obviously in the liberty movement who have had, um, you know, situations where they've been threatened or because they've been able to defend themselves because they had a camera. Um, so I, I, I definitely think that that's true. What's your opinion of the three states recently that passed laws to make it completely illegal to film a police officer even during your own arrest? Oh, well, I think it's bullshit. I mean, can you say that? Yeah, you can say It's the internet. This is free market. <laughs> um, yes, absolutely. That, that's, that's just ridiculous. Um, you know, it completely... It goes against everything that is our own personal right to defend ourselves, our own personal right to, choose, you know, like, basically prove our own innocence because there's so much fraud and there's so much um, hypocrisy and tyranny and and we have no choice but to resort to having to defend ourselves by capturing people on camera and by saying no this is actually what has happened and not what you're saying and um, I think that that's just another example of the police state that we're in and how crazy um, you know the states are becoming and just trying to take away our personal freedoms you have another pet topic you like to talk about, which is pharmaceutical drugging. Why don't you go ahead and tell your listeners, give them an idea of what you're talking about. Okay, well basically when I was thinking about doing the calendar page, um, it was a toss-up between the Second Amendment and the pharmaceutical drugging of our civilization. Um, the reason why that topic was also near and dear to my heart is because I feel that part of the reason, or actually the reason, one of the major reasons that we do not have the uprisings that we had back in the 60s and in the 70s and, and all of that is because everyone is fucking drugged. Every Everyone is, you know, taking Prozac every single day, or they're, you know, they've got fluoride in their water. Just all of these things that the that is being used against us to numb us and to make us, um, you know, kind of hypnotized, basically, and unaware of what's happening around us. And so, I think that that is even more at a fundamental level of something that needs to be attacked, and, and people need to become aware of that so that they can wake up. Because I think that that was actually put in place, call me a conspiracy theorist, but I think that it was put in place specifically to handle the problem of uprising. And so I think that until that is addressed, which many people who are in the liberty movement obviously, you know, 
don't subscribe to that ideology of, you know, taking drugs and all that stuff as far as, like, pharmaceutical. It's basically, like, a lobotomy. And so I know I'm probably going to piss off a lot of people by saying that because there are a lot of people who feel like those things help. But I also have a holistic health background, and I know that there's plenty of things you can do holistically to handle, yes, people ha get depressed, people get sad, or, you know, have things happening. But I just don't think that the psychiatric approach is a real handling for those things. I think that it is, um, it was actually put there in the name of help and it's not really there to help at all. It's really just there to suppress and to make make us all numb and, and not act